Hello, my name is Brandi Agerbeck. I'm a graphic facilitator and my website is loosetooth.com. Today I'm excited to share the Essential 8. Since 2000, I've been a member of the International Forum of Visual Practitioners. The IFEP is a professional organization for graphic recorders and graphic facilitators. Uh, every year they have an annual conference and at every conference they have training. In 2007, my good friend and colleague, Lynn Carruthers, and I decided we wanted to do the training. So we had a lot of good fun and put in a lot of hard work and developed that one-day session, which we gave in 07, 08, and 09. Um, the seed of that training has grown into these tutorials. Uh, so I'm very thankful to Lynn and to the IFEP for those opportunities. The number one most important skill to graphic facilitation is listening. The number one most intimidating skill is drawing. Listening is the unsung hero and drawing is the rock star because it's what people see, it's what's new. Um, I do come from a fine arts background. I've been drawing since I was two. I absolutely love it and I hope the love shows in the work. Um, but I'm in the minority. The vast majority of people who do this work, they come from organizational development, they come from teaching, they come from the people side, not the drawing side. So to that end, the Essential Eight is about breaking down the complex and intimidating world of drawing into these eight essential components. These eight essential ingredients in the context of graphic facilitation. Very important, they're sequential. I really do want, to, want you to think about these in order. I want you to master number one before you add number two. Uh, so let's do it. Number one, lettering. Lettering is about being perfectly legible and written fast, so thinking about your handwriting and how to find the perfect convergence between clarity and speed. I know penmanship is a lost art. Think of it as drawing 52 shapes impeccably, the upper and lower case alphabet. Number two, bullets. <laughs> bullets are used to make separate points clear and to use colors and symbols to code different ideas. Uh, truly, you could use a round bullet and perfect handmanship and great listening skills and be of great service to the group you're working with. Number three, color. Use color to make your charts bright and inviting and use color to organize. You will have the rainbow of colors, but I want you to be selective and limit your colors to better organize the ideas you're putting on paper. Um, if you haven't looked at a color wheel since elementary school, don't worry. I'll give you a lot of concrete advice on how to use color in your charts. Number four, line. Line is about delineating through thick and thin lines. Lines are about connecting ideas and containing ideas. Now, if you look at this top row, how much drawing is there? I'd say it's about this much drawing, this much knowledge, and this much practice. So, number five, the cousin of the line, the arrow. <laughs> Arrows are your best friend. Um, I've had events that were so fast-paced, the conversation went so quickly, that all I could use was lettering, color, and arrows. And I was greatly able to facilitate that group through those, those very simple uh, components. Number six. Are you ready for it? People. People is about bringing life to the work and expressing emotion. This is where we start to bring in a little drawing skills. Uh, through the tutorials, I'll show you some ways to very quickly draw. Uh, very expressive people. Number seven, boxes. Highlight and set apart ideas and group a set of ideas together. And lastly, number eight, is shading. Shading is used to lift items off the page and add dimension. Again, this is the essential eight. I want you to think of them sequentially. Work with them in order. If you're doing this work and you're feeling intimidated, remember the essential eight and start from square one and build as you go. I've seen people who could draw the cutest bunny in the world and they've had lousy handwriting and they're really not facilitating, they're really not helping that group they're working with by creating the cute bunny and a legible penmanship. Um, I've also seen something like um, with shading, somebody who learns to make a drop shadow and then they get so fixated with the drop shadow that in real time they completely lose the conversation because they're working on their shading. So. Um, I really want, uh, I really want again, want you to think about these sequentially. I look forward to sharing more of my experience and more of my ideas through these tutorials. Oh, I've got one bonus component, which is the white space. The white space is the space around all the great stuff you're drawing. So 
Again, um, I look forward to sharing more of these ideas and more of my experience with you in these tutorials. My name is Brandy Agerbeck. I'm a graphic facilitator, and you can see my work at loosetooth.com. Happy viewing!